Pre-Intermediate Market Leader, Course Book, 3rd Edition, by David Cotton, David Falvey, and Simon Kent. Published by Pearson Longman. Unit 1. Careers. Track 1. Person 1. Well, for a long time, I think I was very ambitious, you know, wanting to get to the top and to earn as much money as possible. But then I decided that other things are more important. I recently decided to take a career break, so I'm travelling for a year and doing some unpaid work. I want to see something of the world and look at my options. Everyone at work says it's not a very good career move, but it's what I want to do. All my friends think I'm mad, but I think I have time. I'm only in my thirties after all. Unit 1. Careers. Track 2. Person 2. It's been very difficult, I think, to get a start without much experience, you know. It's the chicken and egg situation. You can't get a job without experience and you can't get experience without a job. The career opportunities everybody talks about are not really happening for me. Maybe the problem is that I don't really have a career path in mind. I'm still not really sure what I want to do in the long term. I've done different things, but they don't seem to lead anywhere. I don't really know where I'm going. Studying at university made a lot of sense at the time, but now I'm not so sure. I don't feel very prepared for my working life. Unit 1. Careers. Track 3. Person 3. Well, I suppose I always had a career plan, and for me it seems to have been successful. I first worked for the company part-time when I was a student, part of a work placement which I organised myself. I always wanted to work in this area, and only really for one company. They offered me a full-time job, and then I worked my way up the career ladder, from trader to associate to manager to director. I'm now a partner. Maybe it's a bit unusual these days to only work for one company, but for me it's all I wanted. It's only been 17 years, but I'm going to take early retirement next year and buy a boat. <laughs>